After being COVID-free for two and a half years, the Federated States of Micronesia is facing a major outbreak. KITV force Kristen Concilio spoke with local Micronesian families on why this is especially dangerous. Micronesians and other Pacific Islanders were hit especially hard by COVID in Hawaii. And now many of them are worried about their families back home in the Federated States of Micronesia. You know, we've seen how, you know, influenza and all those other diseases um, took out a really big chunk of our population in history. Two islands, including the capital city, are reporting four deaths and almost 3,000 coronavirus cases. Up until last week, the Pacific Island nation managed to keep out the virus, closing its borders to outsiders and maintaining strict quarantine rules. The country had planned to reopen on August 1st. Like our hospital, yeah, like medication, like medicine, yeah. We don't have like those back home. Yeah, it's scary because it's first time like in the world. Yeah? If we don't have help, then we can die. Josie Howard runs We Are Oceania, a charity that helps the 20,000 Micronesians living in the islands. She saw firsthand how those communities which face higher rates of chronic diseases were devastated by COVID infections here. We um, had almost hit 40 percent of the, the positive case so uh, just using that model and looking at how this might spread back home and how quickly it could spread and how impactful it could be on the people i think that's what's made me really worried she's hoping to send masks and other supplies to micronesia and most importantly help educate them on how to survive covid19 kristin concilio kitv4 island news